three of them here. Christian Rocco, Nick Petit, Brian Morris is the one wrestling. And Morris sending his world-renowned brethren back to the back, back to the locker room here. Got that confidence. You got to wonder. You know, the numbers advantage has been very effective for World Renown, but Brian, he, he thinks he's got it on his own. in popularity as of late here in the MFPW. Absolutely, you could hear the, the interaction he just had there with the crowd, the, the love that the Monster Factory faithful are, are giving him. <laughs> Brian having his own little interaction there with the crowd, getting a, a little jeer. He's not letting it phase him. We are underway here. Collar and elbow tie up, and I don't think that Morris is want to, gonna want to go the power route here with Xander. Are you giving up about 75 pounds, and yeah, no. If he's strong and you get it, you probably don't want to go that route. Absolutely, he's gonna have to rely on his experience. He's got a little bit more time in the ring. Xander does, but you got to look at that size difference. Both guys bringing strong elements to the table, but who is going to have what it takes to walk into the 2300 arena <laughs> with momentum? Man, you talk about momentum, look at that. Just slam down face first onto the canvas, and Morris checking to make sure that his nose is still on straight. You can see the bewilderment in his eyes, the, the absolute disbelief in the way that he was just tossed around. He, he's thinking, he's, he's strategizing. You see the gears turning as well. Oh, teasing a Greco-Roman knuckle lock and instead goes with a boot to the midsection. And, well, powering out of the standing side headlock and... I was gonna say, Xander being brought down to Brian's level, but Xander brought him back up to his. A little, little condescending pat on the head. Paul's going to let it, Brian, no. He's a baby. Oh, man. Big scoop and a slam. Come on! We've seen Xander be very dominant here in MFPW just about a month ago, gaining the opportunity to partake in a gauntlet for the MFPW Heavyweight Championship. The line at the buffet, that's right. And now riding the momentum from that here and continuing to take it here to world-renowned Brian Morris. It's a drop kick onto the knee. And we've seen uh, a lot of transformation in Brian Morris, going from the new guy to Wonder Boy, part of world renowned. A very different uh, streak, a very different uh, put of morals compared to when he was just one year ago. Yeah, no, he's definitely gotten a bit more of a vicious streak. I mean, there is, behind all of that, there is a lot of talent there. Absolutely. And hey, you know, that, that talent, knowing where you can bend the rules a little bit, you just saw him leaning into the ropes with Xander. Sometimes that's what experience is all about, even if you don't like it. Just as we were saying with Jafar. Five, two. Two count there from Xander as Morris continuing to have some words with the referee. Doesn't believe it, doesn't believe that it was just a two count. And <laughs> driving into the back of the knee there. 
right in those thoracic discs in the spine. One, two, Jars two. In. Only a two count. Ryan trying to get the ref to count a little bit faster for him. Yeah, no preferential treatment when it comes to the official here. But again, you, you can see the, the experience here on display. He, he's absolutely driving the momentum, the pace of this match, getting uh, Xander to level out the size advantage a little bit more. Well, and you see for the most part, he is keeping Xander off of his feet. You know, trying to take away that height advantage, that leverage advantage. When you're on the ground, everybody's the same size. And you, you can see him really wrenching in there, the, the pain that Xander is displaying, but getting back to his feet. Brian on his back. There he goes. Still hanging on and driven again into the corner. Brian trying to take advantage of a momentary pause. Some separation, ducks the clothesline, pace quickening, big clothesline here from Xander. And a back elbow as well, and drop kick. Got a good piece of it. Absolutely, a lot of height for a big man. Pulling up Brian. Oh, tried to maybe. Grabs for Xander's end, not able to get it. Pushing Brian into the corner before getting a, or Brian pushing Xander into the corner before getting an elbow for his trouble. What a cross body block. Two and no. Men the size of Xander don't typically move like that, but he's an athlete. Looking for Xander's end. And there it is, down he goes. Will this be it? One, two, three, yes it is. Christian Rocco, Nick Petit. Oh, come on. And now check in on their partner. Got a couple referees out here to try to stop the feed. Oh, wait, now all three of them going after Xander here. He's got that microphone, no! Viciously, and, and look at them, proud of what they've just done here.
going to be in attendance along with world renowned at the 2300 Arena coming up in 19 days, coming up on June 30th. And again, you can see the mean streak, the, the transformation of these three men under the guidance of John Alba. Uh, we discussed Brian Morris being going from Rookie of the Year, somebody with a lot of honor to uh, this hostile, hostile man. Christian Rocco, I've known him for years. I've never known him to behave this way. And Nick Petit, somebody with, with a lot of charisma, a lot of talent, selling it out for cheap tactics.